feature section now, mathematics. And there has been a controversy in a Washington DC charter school after a teacher was discovered to have assigned third grade students a series of uh, math problems around violent and illegal scenarios. Uh, John, can I just put your yeah. maths? Sorry, maths, maths one problems. One plus one. Math. One math plus another math. Maths. <laughs> maths problems. <laughs> At first, the teacher said he'd been ordered to assign uh, these problems, but it later turned out that he'd actually downloaded them from a free homeschooling website. Uh, that sounds legit, Andy. <laughs> Why not? An entirely unregulated website for homeschoolers. I'd call that a valid resource. <laughs> uh, the head of the school involved said, I was absolutely distressed. It doesn't follow anything we do. We're about character, excellence and service. And I found these questions to be violent and racist. <laughs> violent and racist? Sounds like someone just tried to make maths fun. And, uh... <laughs> so violent and racist? That's basically everything I was taught at school about <laughs> British history. <laughs> That's right, they're teaching the wrong lesson. <laughs> uh, what's even better is that apparently the teacher in question is a minister as well. So uh, let's take a look at the questions in question, shall we? Uh, here's one. Um, I was sleeping one night when a hungry vampire sucked 3,652 litres of blood from me and 1,865 litres of blood from my little brother. How much blood did the hungry vampire drink that night? <laughs> now, I mean, that... That seems fine. A bit violent, maybe, but nothing too bad. A slightly worrying amount of blood being sucked. But, you know, I guess it's all in cartoon fun. Yeah, of course. I mean, you're going to do maths. Yeah. If you've got to link it up with a biology syllabus, sure, surely. Sure, exactly. And after all, Sesame Street uses a vampire to teach children about counting. It's just that vampire doesn't do that by sucking three and a half thousand <laughs> litres of blood out of a six-year-old. But, you know, still, not too bad. Let, let's try another one. Um, question number two. I took a nap in a bog one day and woke up screaming. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> 3,796 leeches, 2,910 fleas, and 1,044 vampire bats were stuck to my bald head, drinking my blood in ecstasy. How many bloodthirsty bloodsuckers were dining on my head? <laughs> OK, that's a bit weird, Andy. <laughs> we're now in difficult territory. <laughs> there seems to be a bit of a bloodbath going on in these maths problems. It's like a mathematics course designed by Wes Craven. There is a significantly much higher body count than you'd normally expect from a math test. Because usually what you get is, um, oh, a train travels at 35 miles an hour. Liverpool is 156 miles away. How long will it take the train to get to Liverpool? And not, a train travels at 35 miles an hour. Liverpool is 156 miles away. The train hits a bus carrying 64 people, all of whom are 7 and 2, and whose blood covers the wheels of the train, making go 2 miles an hour faster. How long will it now take to get to Liverpool. But hold on, now the train's going faster, it's unable to stop in time and slams right into the platform in Liverpool where 314 people are standing. How many of those people are critically injured? <laughs> Here's another question. John's father gave him 1,359 marbles on his birthday. That's fine. John swallowed 585 marbles and died. That is not fine. <laughs> Nine of John's friends came to his funeral the next day. John's grieving father <laughs> gave the remaining marbles to John's friends in equal numbers. How many marbles did each friend get? OK, that teacher is a serial killer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that is also, why not? I mean, if you're going to do that, at least get... I mean, surely you can get the 585 marbles back out of the kid. <laughs> you know, give, his, give his friend something genuine to remember him by. Um... Brian, a brave member of a SWAT team in California, had a terribly busy week last week. Mm -hmm. He had to work for seven whole days. He killed 163 terrorists, 296 murderers, and 206 arsonists. Is this real? How many criminals did he kill on average each day? Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I mean, it's true. It's on the website, <laughs> homeschoolingparadise.com, <laughs> if you want rich entertainment. And actually, some quite testing mathematics. Uh -huh. I mean, okay. let's, let's give this, okay. this website its due. Let's not bury the lead here. These are not easy problems. I mean, the problem is that, you know, if you take this, this might explain some of the excesses of Californian policing over recent years. <laughs> 111 murderers broke into my house because they wanted to steal my maths worksheets. Luckily, I had a bulldog, a boxer, and a mastiff to protect me. My ferocious dogs killed all the murderers. My brawny boxer killed 90 more murderers than my sleepy bulldog. My massive mastiff tore apart thrice as many murderers as my boxer. How many murderers did each dog kill? Here's another one, Buglis. Uh-huh. 
who said your answer's in. Sally had between 35 and 60 ugly bearded men who wanted to marry her. She finally told them to arrange themselves in groups of eight in her garden to help her decide. However, there were five men left over. She tried again and told them to arrange themselves in groups of six. This time there was one hysterical man left over. <laughs> she married the hysterical man out of pity and told the rest to get lost. <laughs> How many men? To me, how many men wanted to marry? To me, that is that just sounds like the plot of quite a good body movie. Yeah. Either yeah. that, either that, or it's you know the next absolutely gigantically successful American reality show. <laughs> <laughs> Hysterical men. <laughs> uh, that is great to Liverpool. Four hours thirty-one minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in.